the SDG that is being dealt with is SDG 2.0 Hunger. Food is something that is vital for survival for each and every human being. The main objective of the Sustainable Development Goal 2 is to eradicate any forms of hunger and or malnutrition prevalent in the world by the year 2030. According to the WHO, malnutrition refers to deficiencies, excesses or imbalances in a person's intake of energy and or nutrients. 38.3 million children globally come under the category of malnourished, 1.9 billion adults are overweight, while 462 million are underweight. Malnutrition is broadly categorized into undernutrition and overnutrition. As per NCBI, undernutrition denotes insufficient intake of energy and nutrients to meet an individual's needs to maintain good health. In most literature, undernutrition is used synonymously with malnutrition. A gasping 11% of the global population has been studied to be undernourished. This is an alarming percentile due to the fact that undernourishment can be fatal and would most definitely lead to death if not tackled at the right time. When a person does not procure and consume the daily energy and nutrients they require to intake, their body becomes weak and their immune system deteriorates. Now we can only imagine if undernutrition is so deadly to a normal human being, how vast must be its effects on adolescents, pregnant and lactating women. Nine-year-old Roshan lives on Delhi's outskirts with her relatives. Going to bed hungry is something she's used to. Six days I'll eat, then the next six days I wouldn't eat at all. When I was small, I would eat less because my stomach would burn whenever I ate. As defined by NCBI, overnutrition is a form of malnutrition in brackets, imbalanced nutrition arising from excessive intake of nutrients leading to accumulation of body fat that impairs health. In 2014, the WHO estimated that worldwide more than 600 million adults were obese while 42 million children were under the age of 5 and overweight. Obesity is just as severe of an issue as that of undernutrition and has many ill effects. When the energy and nutrients required in a diet are above the required amount, it leads to obesity. <laughs> Before, I used to go normally in the car without any problems. But now, I have to use a wheelchair. Abdul Razak was 25 years old when he was diagnosed with diabetes, a condition in which there are high levels of sugar in the blood. Malnutrition is not caused by one thing alone. There are several reasons as to why malnutrition is a global issue. Some of them include diet problems, poverty, inflation, which leads to high prices of food, genetics, and many more. Specifically for adolescents, lack of breastfeeding leads to stunts in growth. But again, lactating mothers cannot breastfeed unless they themselves have the right amount of nutrient intake. According to the WHO, around 45% of deaths among children under 5 years of age are linked to undernutrition. These mostly occur in low- and middle-income countries. At the same time, in these same countries, rates of childhood overweight and obesity are rising. Undernutrition can lead to serious health issues like anemia. If a person is undernourished, the body becomes extremely weak and fragile. It decreases the capability of the body to fight many diseases and could ultimately lead to death. A lack of nutrition leads to the functioning of organs becoming less efficient and could cause loss of eyesight, kidney stones, etc. At the same time, overnutrition has proven to be extremely harmful as well. It leads to mobility issues, heart problems, cholesterol, breathing difficulties and mainly causing excess growth in the form of fat. We, as humans, have a duty towards those in need to help them as much as we can and bring them out of difficulties they face. All we need to do is follow the Sustainable Development Goals and its guidelines.